Good day, everyone. This is Ames Gazel Anachika, and today I will be sharing to you water management tips. Water is essential in all living organisms. The abundant supply of water makes the earth special. In poultry production, water is one of the main things to consider. How important is water? Water is a critical nutrient that receives little attention until a problem rises. Water is the cheapest nutrient for poultry, having very expensive implications if not handled properly. Apart from its nutritive aspect, it is also used to reduce air temperature by way of evaporative cooling and fogging during summer season and to clean and sanitize the facility. Here are some water management tips for poultry production. First is that we have to conduct water tests. Each farm should have its well water tested. Water quality can change during periods of heavy rain or drought, and additional water tests during these periods will ensure that water lines continue to deliver adequate water volume for both the birds and the cooling systems. Samples should be collected regularly. Laboratories will evaluate samples for factors that impact taste, solid buildup, and toxicity. These factors include pH level, which is 6.0 to 6.8, it is preferred for boiler production, and birds can tolerate a pH range of 4 to 8. Another factor is bacterial load, turbidity, color, it must be colorless, total solids and hardness, and they'll test for iron, manganese, nitrate, alkalinity, and toxic compounds. The next tip is that we have to change filters regularly. Sediment and other particulates can cause leaky water nipples that can have negative effects on litter quality. Plug filters restrict water flow to the drinker and cooling systems. In some cases, simple cartridge filters may not be adequate, such as for water with high iron. In those cases, consider other water treatments. Next is that we have to flush water lines regularly. Perform a high-pressure flush on water lines between each flock and after adding supplements through the medicator such as a vaccine, medications, vitamins, electrolytes, and etc. Regular flushing helps to remove dirt or debris and biofilms from the water lines and to keep nipple drinkers from being blocked. This ensures that all your birds have access to all the water they need to turn feed into food. Here's a little quick information. What are biofilms? Biofilms are a collective of one or more types of microorganisms that can grow on many different surfaces. Biofilms can harbor bacteria that cause severe illness, and limiting their emergence means birds are more productive. Residues left behind by vaccines, medications, vitamins, or other water-soluble additions can cause rapid biofilm development. How often should we flash water lines? One to three times per week is enough, but we should always flash the lines immediately after running any additives through the water lines. Another tip we have is that planning ahead before treating water. Before implementing water treatment or sanitation programs, consult your county agent to be sure contaminants in your water will not react negatively and cause the water system to become clogged. Here are some additional water management tips. Ensure an adequate supply, design water-efficient houses, choose the right cooling system, use an efficient drinker system, manage water quality and temperature, monitor and control, and use high-pressure sprayers for cleaning and disinfecting. It is important to take into account the volume consumed by birds daily. This parameter depends on several factors including food consumption, water being too hot, contaminated water, ambient temperature, type of drinkers used, drinker height, water pressure, salt and protein levels of the diet, bird's productivity, and the bird's ability to resorb water in the kidney. Different studies determine that the water temperature preferred by birds should be at approximately 10 degrees Celsius. When water temperatures are 27 degrees Celsius or higher, water consumption and daily weight gain is significantly reduced. If water temperature usually exceeds 24 degrees Celsius, 
some cooling system will have to be implemented. This table shows the water consumption of broiler, layer, and breeder chickens. Water deprivation for greater than or equal to 12 hours has an adverse effect on growth of young poultry and egg production of layers. Water deprivation for greater than or equal to 36 hours results in a marked increase in mortality of both young and mature poultry. That is all for now. Thank you for watching.